we'll get you with it. I don't know, we'll get to that. Folks, we'll give an opening statement first, and then we'll take some questions for, uh, for Dwayne and let him get out of here. You know, coming into the game, I know our team had great respect for Western Kentucky, I and mean, they have a very talented team. You know, when Bassey's going, uh, he's hard to stop. You know, he likes to go over that left shoulder, but just because you know what he likes to do doesn't mean you can stop it all the time. And, uh, you know, he got it going there in the beginning of the second half. I thought for us, Malik Williams did a terrific job. You know, his stat line isn't going to jump out on the stat sheet. Uh, but what he did defensively uh, helped our team. And they usually shoot it better than that. I'd like to think that it was some of our on-ball defense and being there on the catch on certain players. You know, Justice and Savage can really get going. So I'm very, very happy with the win. It's not an easy team. And... Uh, we got an even tougher one on Tuesday. Questions for Dwayne. Dwayne, it seemed like rebounding in the second half really helped lift you guys up. What did you think um, about how that went specifically in the second half? Um, I think it was pretty good. Um, you know, every day in practice we compete after it on the boards. Uh, we know if we get on the backboard, it's going to increase our chances of winning. I think today is uh, part of the reason why we ended up winning, actually. How do you feel this team stacks up talent-wise with some of the other teams you were playing? I don't think we stack up, stack up pretty well. Um, but talent's not going to win you games sometimes. Uh, it's going to be more of hard work, uh, playing defense, and things like that. And I feel like once we do that, then we're tough to beat. There was a little stretch right after they kind of cut it down the second half. I think you got two or three big defensive rebounds. Malik got two or three in a row and kind of separated out. Did you guys just kind of resolve among yourselves, or what went into that little stretch? Um, we just want to stay poised. Um, you know, a team make runs. We just want to continue to be ourselves, play our game. Um, I think it starts on the defensive end. Um, we got some nice stuff down there. It was kind of in their run. You guys are like the number one team in the country on Monday. What does that mean to you guys in the big picture? Um, we just try to get better every day. Um, we just, we're just going to practice uh, Sunday, try to be better than we were today. Uh, take one one day at a time um, and continue to improve. How tough is it to kind of maintain that focus when, I mean, you see Duke lose the other day. You know the possibility is there with the game coming up. Um, like I said, we just take it one day at a time and try to improve from yesterday. Uh, you know, we've got a tough team with uh, two days against Michigan. We're going to go out there and play our game and see what happens. What do you attribute most to being able to come out and jump on them to that 9 all run to start the game? I don't think our focus uh, from the jump, our first four minutes, he wants to set the tone. I think we did a good job defensively. Uh, we know they had, they had five guys who could score, fill it up. I think we did a good job for the most part regarding our best players. Roughly nine minutes left in the game, I think we got up the nine. What did you guys do there, and how much how much was metal, and how much was mechanical, and being able to stop it at the door? Uh, we just wanted to get stops. Um, they ran some sets to try to take them away. Um, Charles Bassett got going early in the second half. Uh, I think Malik came in and did a great job of shutting that down. Um, and, uh, that's pretty much what we want, honestly. When they were making that run, Jordan you know, hits that big three. As a teammate mentally, when you see him make a shot like that, you know, what's your thoughts at that moment? Um, it's confidence for the whole team. Um, Jordan made a big three that gave us a little bit of energy on the defensive, defensive end. Um, we locked in and got some stop down the stretch, which we needed to come out and get the win. I don't One know more. how much you're able to pay attention to what Michigan's been doing this week. How much you're kind of looking forward to uh, that matchup? Uh, it's going to be a tough game. You know, Michigan's a great team. They're coming off three big wins in uh, Atlantis, and I think it's going to be a, a battle for sure. Great. Thank you, Dwayne. Any questions for Coach now? Chris, can you explain a little more on the job that both Malik and Steve did on basketball? Yeah, I mean, like I said before, he really got going uh, early in the second half. And um, it was tough because you know, they spread you out with shooters. I know the percentage doesn't indicate it today, but look at their stat sheet coming into the game. They have a bunch of guys. As a team, they're shooting 41% from three. And Steve's trying. You know, the, kid, the kid's a hoss. He knows how to position himself. And a few of those shots, you know, five, six, seven-foot turnarounds, you know, you live with that shot against a lot of players. That's, you know, why he is who he is as a prospect. When we hit the face-up one, that makes it really tough. Again, if you start trapping and doubling, um, you're going to leave somebody open, even for a split second, and, and Bassey's a good passer. He's not, uh, he's not just a scoring machine. So, uh, you know, Malik really gave us a boost when he came in, and I thought the second time that Steve came in, maybe it was because of, um, Malik's effort to cool him down a little bit. I thought Steve was much better the second time he came in the uh, in the game in the second half. Dwayne mentioned focus. Could you sense that too? Because Western a team that averages around the 80s in points, just you know the way they locked in and really wanted to make sure that they could play defense. I thought our defense was uh, was much better than it's been. Of course, it needed to be. It needed to be against Western. I think our, our guys had great respect for their talent level. 
you know, there, like I said before, if they were if they were surrounding him with a couple guys that are shooting 11 percent from the three point line, it'd be a lot easier game. But they're not. And you know, Cameron Justice in the last two games, uh, you know, in the Virgin Islands was 10 for 12 from three. So and then it, then he bangs that first one to start the game. And um, you know, again, it's they're, they're going to put a lot of teams in a difficult position throughout the year. Coach, what did you see in that second half that kind of allowed WKU to be able to cut that lead to only nine with about nine minutes to play? Uh, Bassey, uh, our turnovers, uh, and then you know you give credit to the other team. I thought they did a good job uh, switching some of our off the ball screening action, and uh, you know we didn't come up in that instance that you're talking about uh, with second and third shots like we did maybe a little later on. And they're a good team. Good teams are going to make a run. You know the, the building. I had a really good split crowd, and so they got behind their hilltoppers. And uh, I was really proud of our guys for being a little bit uh, resilient enough to, you know, come back and, and do what we did to end the game. And I think Dwayne Sutton was a big part of it because he was sitting on the bench for about three or four minutes, comes in, gets a huge offensive rebound, and um, I thought that sort of turned the tide for us a little bit. You like they've been one team in the country on Monday. What do you tell your guys? How do you approach it? to sort of distance yourself from all that stuff at, at the end of November? Well, you, you, you can't in terms of they're going to see it. You know, my job is, is for them to, uh, is for me to get them to understand that we haven't arrived. There's no team that's arrived. You know, no, team, no team's arrived. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying we haven't played anybody. You know, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of people are saying that, you know, we're not there. Maybe we aren't deserving. I really don't care. The only thing I care about is improving from our game today against Western Kentucky. Uh, you know, if we were to be the number one team on Monday and, and we lose on Tuesday, we wouldn't be the first team to lose with the number one ranking. So, like, that's really in the grand scheme of things, I'd be more concerned about uh, losing that number one ranking at the uh, beginning of April. Knowing what you know about your guys personality wise, do you see do you think it's a group that can handle you know, knowing that this doesn't really matter in late November, early December? I worry about um, does our team handle it. I think certain individuals, just like your kids, are more mature um, than others. And, um, you know, that remains to be seen. I'd be less, less than honest and be dishonest if I told you exactly how our guys are going to handle it. I know how we should handle it, um, but we'll see. Again, I, I'm only concerned with how much we get better off tonight's game. You get a target on your back of all that stuff. I mean, how much traction do other teams get when they're playing? Right? I'd like to think that every team that we play, uh, including tonight's team, has put a target on our back. Whether we have a one in front of our name, or a two, or a five, or a 25, you know, Louisville's had a hell of a tradition, tradition for a long, long time. It's part of the reason I'm sitting here behind this cafeteria table. What did you think of how your three-point guards, Fresh, Darius, and, and David played tonight? It seemed like they all did different things on their own. I thought Darius did a pretty good job. Um, he missed a couple open looks that I'm, I'm used to seeing him go down. He had a couple uh, squirrely turnovers. He's got to do a better job uh, in that department for us. I think he ended up with three, and he hasn't been that way uh, really all year long. I like the shots that he took. I thought he had good shot selection. I thought Fresh was by far the best of the three tonight. Uh, he really gave our team a poise outside of the one uh, turnover on the roll pass. The kid was wide open and got it deflected, uh, or might have been a break. I thought he did a great job. Defensively, he was on it. David looked like a freshman. Um, Last question, of Michigan, but obviously the, the results can't speak for themselves. What they did this week, just looking ahead to that matchup, kind of challenge you expect. Yeah, I would be, uh, I'd be lying if I said I knew a ton about them. I know a lot of their players. You know, I, I know that they just went in and destroyed uh, the field at the Atlantis, which goes without saying is a tough field. So they're obviously playing really, really well. They've got a uh, point guard that we tried to recruit for two years at Xavier, in Xavier. And uh, he's one of the best point guards in the country. They got great size at the rim. It's going to be a huge challenge. And uh, I need some people in red to fill Young Center on Tuesday night. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.